The other thing I really want to encourage people to do is add nuts to mm -hmm. their diet and specifically to this recipe you can add some walnuts, pecans, even peanuts would be great. Yep. I read a study that indicated that people who consume nuts regularly actually weigh less than people who don't. It's true. There's this misconception that we shouldn't have nuts because they have so much fat in them. And they do have fat. And they're good fats. They're omega-3s. Exactly. They're monounsaturated. Walnuts are packed with monounsaturated and really necessary omega-3 fatty acids, just like the flax seeds. There's a notion that we can get our omega-3s only from fish. We hear about that a lot. And that's not the case. The fish get their omega-3s from the phytoplankton. So actually, it's a plant-based nutrient. And so, of course, with the fish, you're getting those extra packets of mercury and heavy metals that's and true. other pollutants. Absolutely. I think we tend to focus on sound bites that we hear, right. and we're misinformed. I think we tend to focus on the source of the nutrient as opposed to the nutrient itself. So when we hear about protein, the first thing we think about is eggs or meat. Exactly. When we hear about calcium, the first thing we think of is milk. milk. Cow's milk. Cow's milk specifically. And when we hear about omega-3s, we think about fish. And we just wanted to show you that you could think about some other things too. Exactly. So basically mixing this up, if you were using a mixer, this would be a little faster. And if you weren't talking to Alka, it would be a lot faster <laughs> as well. So that's basically, great. that's it. So maybe you can whip that up a little more. I'll yeah, get sure. Cookie sheet. Now you would drop this on a cookie sheet. You don't need to put any oil on the cookie sheet. We already have enough oil from the Earth Balance. This looks great, Colleen. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. And we'll just drop it in with a tablespoon. You can use your hand, whatever. I like to use a measuring spoon to create uniform sizes, especially when you're serving them. They yeah. look much more elegant that way. Yeah. So I just stick a little bit of the batter into the one-third cup in this case. Pop them on the cookie sheet, and you have your cookies. There we go. That's so we can good. do a couple here, or we can just show them the finished product. That's a great idea. Here, here we, we are. are. Aren't they beautiful? beautiful? And what do you think we should serve these with, Alka? Some nice soy milk, maybe? Some soy milk, some mm -hmm. rice milk. Just beautiful. I think you'll really enjoy these. I think we have to go so we can go eat our cookies. Yeah, we do. <laughs>